So in this video I'm going to review the updated, the new version of DHT blocking shampoo from Hair Restoration Laboratories. This is a product I reviewed about a year ago and um, at the time I ran into some trouble. The company really did not like my review. They thought I was defaming their business and, and so on and so on. They sent me some threatening emails. So um, I thought I'd review the updated version, see what changes they made, um, see how things are. Keep watching. So as I said, I reviewed this shampoo before, um, about a year ago, I'll leave the link in the description below for the video, I really recommend watching that video first. And uh, my issue with this shampoo at the time was, number one, the main issue was that they were claiming it was DHT blocking. I genuinely did not feel at the time that the ingredients in there warranted the label DHT blocking. This was an honest review but unfortunately the company kind of uh, got in touch with me. Initially started quite friendly kind of debating the points and I advised them on how they should label uh, their product, how they should market it uh, and then it quickly developed um, after you know a couple of weeks into kind of threatening emails. They you know they said they were discussing it with their counsel and that I should you know cease and desist and all that stuff. Obviously I didn't really pay any attention to that because it was an honest review, it was my opinion and if they have a different opinion that's fine. Then in the last couple of weeks it came to my attention that the company relaunched uh, this uh, DHT blocking shampoo and some people told me or asked me to review it. So here I am. So the biggest change you can see they got rid of the words DHT blocking from the label. So in the old bottle um, it said on the front of the packaging DHT blocking. That has gone now and surprise surprise that's why I advised them. So even though they kind of threatened me and kind of went after me, they still took my advice. So credit where credit is due, they've taken on my advice and I think they will have much better, better success with this product now that it's authentically and honestly labeled. In terms of the ingredients, um, I think that most of the ingredients are very nutritious. They're kind of more kind of vitamins and herbs, you know, B12 and so on. Uh, but there's a couple of ingredients that have been shown to regrow hair, namely saw palmetto and caffeine. Those two have definitely been shown to help regrow hair. There's no doubt that the ingredients here are quality. They, they, they have a lot of high quality ingredients. Um, the, hon the honesty of the labeling is clear now. Um, they got rid of that DHD blocking nonsense. It's um, marketed as a shampoo that supports healthy hair growth and this is the right thing to do in my opinion. Uh, it's cruelty free so it's not tested on animals. Um, it's color safe so if you wear or if you have uh, dyes or colors in your hair, this should not affect it. Um, they offer 60 day money back guarantee which is really, really good. There are no nasty preservatives, things like parapens which is again very very good so so far so good I really think they've made a big improvement in their kind of the way they package their product and the way they present it from the last time I reviewed this shampoo but there are still a few areas I would advise them to improve on and here they are I did advise them at the time to publish any clinical trials they have I think they should make a bigger case out of this they sh they, you know they should really publish whatever trials they have it will just improve the the, the, uh, the kind of presentation and authenticity of their product um, you know a few places they claimed no side effects from this shampoo no product no drug ever can ever claim to have no side effects it's impossible so I would say get rid of that um, in terms of the reviews there was hundred and ninety five reviews on their website at the time of this video all of them five stars come on you can't have every single one out of nine when well, no, 195 reviews being five stars you know give us something more realistic you know give a good mix it just looks more honest in terms of the price the price is for uh, 24 dollars for 473 mils so it's about 24 dollars for half a liter uh, i'll be honest you know the price is at the top end of the shampoo range it's quite expensive but you know what they are fully justified because they are offering lots and lots of ingredients they you know they're really packed this shampoo with lots of really high quality ingredients so I think that you know they're justified I have to be fair they're justified in charging this price but if they could lower it a little bit I think they will get even more customers and more you know bigger audience for their shampoo and they have different ranges they have a, a regular range a professional range a max range um, obviously the 
bigger professional and max range are for people with kind of who want kind of intensive uh, hair loss solutions to be honest I wouldn't try that straight away I would try the regular one first uh, I think there's a $10 difference between the regular and the professional for the same size so I'll try the regular if you get some improvements but you know nothing top class then maybe you can try the professional but you want to try the regular one first to see if you get any improvement first so in conclusion I think this shampoo the improvements they made from the last time I reviewed this are really good uh, the main one being they got rid of the DHT blocking phrase uh, there's still you know a few things they need to tidy up on but they've really they've done a good job uh, repackaging and remarketing this um, I know they didn't like my last review but I hope they like this one and just like the last one was honest this one is also honest so I do give credit where credit is due and I do point out when people go wrong or when companies go wrong anyway that's the end of the video have you used this shampoo are you thinking of using it leave your comments in the description below and just to say I also have a hair loss website um, I'll leave the link in the description below so if you have problems with hair loss or you're thinking about hair transplants that's the website for you take care see you soon